NK Telco Sports welcomes you to Sydney, Ohio, where the Marion local Flyers take on the Lehman Catholic Cavaliers. This game brought to you by Minster Bank, Keyhole Pizza, 21st Century Kitchens, Elmwood Assisted Living, Schwederman Pharmacy, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental Care, NK Telco, German Farmers Insurance, Wagner's IGA, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Fowler's TV, Wilson Health, Orthopedic Associates of Southwest Ohio, First National Bank, Bud's Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. This is an NK Telco Sports production. Welcome to Lehman Catholic High School, where tonight the Marion Local Flyers are visiting the Lady Cavaliers and High School Volleyball Action. My name is Ben Ayers, and we are NK Telco Sports. Happy to bring you more high school volleyball from our area. The teams tonight facing off are two of the top teams we've had over the past 15 years in Division IV Volleyball, as they've combined for eight total state championships. So excited tonight to see uh, these two teams take the floor again and see if they're able to get their way back and build their way towards another strong tournament run. Obviously at this point we're early in the season. Marion Local Flyers are coming in today at one and one record uh, with coming off their last match against Butler High School in a 3-0 victory. Uh, they are coached by Erica Schulte who's looking at a team that plays a lot of players trying to build that experience as they're getting ready to start MAC play here later this week. Uh, on the other side of the net tonight is going to be the, the Lady C Catholic Cavaliers who come in with a record of 1-2. and two. They are coached by Greg Snipes and they're kind of on the other side of things right now as they won their first match and have lost the previous two. So trying to get things turned around here, they're led by big hitter senior Sydney Chapman who will be the anchor for them tonight. We'll be back after these messages with our starting lineups and keys to the game. If you want to save 70% on your heating, cooling, and hot water costs, the answer is right under your feet. Let New Knoxville Supply install a water furnace geothermal system and use the natural temperature from the earth for a more constant temperature in your home. Also ask about our new Symphony Home Management System. Control temperatures, track energy usage, and receive safety alerts for everything, including your sump pump. All from anywhere, anytime. Now is the time to calculate your savings at NewKnoxvilleSupply.com. Welcome back to Lehman Catholic High School, again, where the Marion Local Flyers are here visiting tonight in some high school volleyball action. Right now we can see the starters, or I'm sorry, the, the players for the Marion Local team being announced. And they're coached by Erica Schulze. He's coming in with a one and one record. Uh, a team, as we've, you heard me reference at the beginning, one of the teams that's kind of dominated Division Four over the past 15 years, as these, three, these two teams have combined for eight total championships. And Marion Local winning five of those uh, going back in order, 2013, 2012, 2009, 2008, and 2007. So definitely dominant there, especially within the last 10 year time frame. And Coach Schulz is hope, hopefully able to build that program back into the powerhouse that they were. Uh, last year going 13 and six, and ending six and three in the MAC before unfortunately losing in the district semifinal to Knoxville, to New, Knox, to New Knoxville. Moving over now to the Lehman Catholic side, again coached by Greg Snipes. Last year finishing 19-7, uh, 7-0, and, and winners of the Northwest Central Conference. Uh, and it's something that Coach Snipes definitely wants to build this program back into, uh, heading toward another conference championship this year. Uh, their season was cut short last year as they lost in the regional semifinal to Fort Lormie, who eventually lost to Jackson Center, who was a state champ. So a lot of strong volleyball in this area, and these two programs are epitome of that. We're going to move over now to the keys of the game, brought to you by Bud Chrysler's Dodge Jeep Ram and Salina, where the dealer makes the difference. For Marion Local, having the opportunity today to, today to talk to Coach Schulze, she had a couple things she really wanted her team to focus on. The first one would be controlling the serve game, that being on both sides of the ball. She wants offensively to be able to serve, put the pressure on Lehman Catholic and make, that, make them have to make a play. Uh, and on the other side, also in the receive game, want to be able to have good passes to get their setters that allows the, the hitters to be in a good possession, position to score points. 
and also wants to have a ballot offense. We're going to see tonight, Marion Local doesn't have one player they go to all the time. They're going to pass the ball around, give lots of different players opportunities to hit the ball, uh, and they definitely want to share it and come at you from all angles. On the other side of the ball, uh, the Layman Catholic Cavaliers, they need to build some confidence. Had a great win in a 3-0 set victory uh, I'm sorry, 3-1 set victory over Butler, and then they've lost the last two to Springfield Catholic Central, 3-1, and they lost to New Bremen, 3-0. So it should be a good matchup. Both of these teams actually, even though it's early in the season, have had a common opponent. Uh, they both played Vandalia Butler and have both been victorious against them. So, you know, looking on paper, should be a pretty good matchup tonight, and the players are on the court and ready to play. Looks like starting for Marion Local are number two, Jesse Kramer. Number four, Alexi Arling. Number nine, Maddie Griesdorn. Number 10, Chloe Berkey. Number 12, Morgan Heckman. And Cassie Fessem, I already subbed in on the rotation that they're at, so she's on the floor. On the other side for Layman Catholic, we have number two, Ellie Scott. Number three, Alexis Snipes. Number four, Lauren Larger. Number eight, Sydney Chapman. Number 11, Abby Shutt. And number five, Mallory Hussey. And with our first serve here, we can see a good handle by Marion Local. Not able to get a good swing on the ball. Unfortunately, we're going to have an unforced air here at the hands of Sydney Lehman. And the first point's going to go over to the Marion Local Flyers. As we're going to have number six, Kylie Albers, checking in, a 5'7 junior. We'll see the Marion Local side. They play a lot of players. Ten players have already participated uh, in all six sets that they've played so far. So... Coach Schultz is going to run girls in and out of there a lot. They're going to see a lot of, a lot of action and a lot of rotations taking place where on the other side, Layman Catholic is going to be a little more consistent in the girls they play, um, only, only playing about seven or eight girls consistently. Ball played over by Layman Catholic, set to the back outside, tipped over again. Outside the number eight, Sydney Chapman, a name we're going to hear a lot tonight. It's the big hitter leading the team in kills so far for Layman Catholic is Sydney Chapman with 54 kills, averaging almost five kills per set. A big swing on the outside. Doug in the back, though. Good volley going here. And having just checked in, Kylie Alvarez comes in, gets a good swing on this left side, and gets the kill. Going to our scoreboard sponsor tonight by First National Bank, Think First. It's a 3 nothing early lead for the Marion Local Flyers. Official giving them some, some type of a warning to the players there. I'm not sure what's going on. A nice hustle by Layman Catholic. Not able to keep it alive, but again, the serve game, something that Marion Local wants to focus on, and a good strong serve given there by Jesse Kramer leads to another point. It's 4-0 early on here for Marion Local. Finally, a good sweep put on the ball by Layman Catholic. It's tipped off the hands, deflected out of bounds, and we get the first point for Layman Catholic. Checking in and stepping back to serve is number 11, Abby Shutt. Uh, tight sets, flip back over to the back corner by Kylie Albers, and the scramble takes place, but Layman unable to get to the ball. Another point. In favor of Marion Local, score is now 5-1. Very close to the line there, caught out of bounds by the line job, judges, and it's going to be point two Layman Catholic. Going back now, number three, Alexis Snipes. One of the two setters we're going to see, one of the two primary setters we're going to see tonight for Layman Catholic. Outside set to number six, Kylie Albers, but dug very well by the libero. Scrambled around, free ball over. Here's an opportunity for Layman to get a good pass and set, but ball's mishandled by number three, Alexis Snipes, we just mentioned there. 
And we'll see tonight on the on the setting side of the ball, Lauren McFarlane, just a freshman, and Manis, I'm sorry, um, yeah, Lauren McFarlane, just a freshman, and Alexis Snipes, the two setters we're gonna see kind of rotating in and out for Sydney Lehman. And on the other side, uh, it's Griesdorn and Rethman who'll be doing a lot of the setting for Marion Local. And so far, they've had 82 opportunities to handle the ball this year with no errors. That was a good swing by Sydney Lehman, another point for them. Score now stands at six to three. Sydney Chapman with the serve. The captain for this team played over barely there. Sent over. Good pass, good set. Opportunity for a swing with Chapman from the back row. Handled by Fessenmeyer. Quit set to the middle. Good dig there by Lauren Larger from the black. And this time it's going to be a block by number 12, Morgan Heckman, the junior 5'9 middle blocker. Playing the position to perfection there. Taking, this, taking the kill attempt and sending it to the floor on the other end. 7-3, Marion Local is number four. Lexi Arling steps back to serve. She's a 5-3 junior. Good swing by the lefty there, number two, Ellie Scott. And she gets the kill. Can be an advantage sometimes having that left-handed hitter up in the, the right front spot. Typically a, a harder spot to hit from from a right-handed player, but a left-handed player, it's, it gives them their strength. Their inside hand, their inside power hand is, is there easier to get to the ball e quicker. So there's a good swing from the outside as well. A good hustle. It's going to be an opportunity for a free ball if they can clear it back over, and they do. And this time it's a good pass, set, and spike. And the def defense for Sydney Lehman not able to handle it. Eight to four, the lead grows for Marion Local. Cassie Pessemeyer with the serve, another scrambling attempt here. Another free ball. Let's see if Marion Local can handle business again. Set to the outside, rolls it off the top of the tape. Ball's very deep. It's Lehman just can't seem to get a chance to, to get into any rhythm right now. So Marion Local continues to kind of dominate and control the tempo of this match so far. And here's another one. I don't think it's blocked. Number 10, Chloe Berkey was there, but I think it was into the net. A hitting there on the side of Sydney Lehman, and the score is down 9-4. Fessett Meyer steps back to serve again. Good pass this time, set to the middle. Tipped up in the air, it's going to be a free ball over. Get an opportunity for Lehman to be on the offensive. Tipped and tapped back and forth at the net. Set to the outside to number 12, Morgan Heckman, but we're gonna have, a, I think, a player into the net. It's gonna be another point for Marion Local. And Fessa Meyer is gonna step back again as she's rallied off, I think, this three service points so far, looking for a fourth. Chapman from the back, Doug. Good set by Natalie Ruthman this last time. Sometimes those setters, they do a lot of the dirty work trying to get the ball to those big hitters to reap the benefits. And there's a block in the middle this time by number 11, Abby Shutt. But Marion Local tried to go back to the middle. It worked once, tried it again. And this time, Snipes was, I'm sorry, Abby Shutt was ready for it as she blocks it down to the ground. 10-5 is the score right now. Marion Local in the lead. Unfortunately for Nate Lehman, Lauren McFarlane, the freshman, serves it into the net. And just as you get a, a big block, a big defensive player that could possibly give you some momentum, an unforced air again sends the ball back to Marion Local and takes the wind out of your sails. And the favor's returned. This time it's number nine, Maddie Griesdorn, the senior. Not happy with that, that attempt for her serve there. Checking in and serving number 10, Camille Odell for Lehman Catholic. Handled by Fessenmeyer. We got number nine, Maddie Griesdorn setting now. 
A good swing by Jesse Kramer, but it's handled. Sent back over. Here's another opportunity. This is to the middle. Blocked at the net. It's Heckman's ball not able to get over the net. Blocked again. This time it's Kara Evans blocked on the outside. She's going to get another attempt. The hands are being very active at the net. Here's Chapman with a chance for a swing. Doug sent over. Out of bounds, though. What a great, one of the great volleys we've seen tonight, and one of the first times we've seen Chapman be able to get a good swing on the ball, and it pays off in a kill for Chapman. They are now in a four-point game, 11-7, Marion Local. Swing by Kramer just over the net. Set back outside to Chapman again. Fessemeyer digs it. Back set to number 11, Kara Evers. It's, I think, off the tape down on the side of Marion Local, and it's going to be another point, 11-8. Lehman Catholic finding some momentum here, chipping away at this lead. Just a three-point game. Camille Oda with another serve just over the line. Had a good view on that one. Line judge was ready for it. It's going to be a point in favor of Marion Local. And the senior, number two, Jesse Kramer, stepping back to serve. Another set outside to Chapman. We're going to see she's going to be fed a lot. It's dug. It's not handled. Kramer was able to get a, a first touch on it. Kind of out of bounds. Kylie Albers tries to hustle to pull it back into play, but it's out of bounds. We're going to get a timeout here as the score is 12-9 in favor of Marion Local. We'll be back with more high school volleyball after these messages. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Uh, we're back after a timeout taken by the American Local Flyers. As we can see, the tide's turning a little bit. They've been manning about a four to five point lead throughout most of this first set. As Blame and Catholic cut it to three there, but an unforced error coming out of the timeout sends it back to four. And something Coach Snipes, you, you know, you're building on something. You want to keep the momentum going. Got to keep the ball in play. Got to put the pressure on the other team. Give them the opportunity to make a mistake. And here's going to be another unforced error. So, very beneficial timeout to Marion Local as they come back, pick up two quick points, extending the lead back to five, 14 to nine. Number 10, Chloe Berkey serving for Marion Local. Chapman with the swing. Again, Marion Local doing a great job of passing from the back row, giving the opportunity for a good set. And another kill there is gonna go to Kara Evers. The junior six foot one right side hitter. Uh, they seem to be feeding the ball that way a lot. A lot of times you'll see teams more going to the left side for their outside hitter uh, on this side, but this, they're very confident in the abilities of Kerry Evers and wanting to keep going that way. Here's Chapman with another swing. Tipped at the net, kept alive. It's gonna be a free over. Middle set, and it's gonna be a kill. I think it was number 11, Abby Shutt, that was there. Number three, Alexis Snipes stepping back to serve. A good volley, volley and rally there by Lehman. Here's a deep serve by Snipes. Another unforced air. Lehman Catholic have hurt their sub, themselves more than Marion Local have hurt themselves so far tonight. And that's probably the difference in the scoreboard. The unforced errors that have taken place uh, in serving and, and some mishandling of the ball. This could be a, a tie game or definitely a few points closer for sure. Ball set to the outside. As we're talking about handling the ball, we got a, a mishandle there by number three, Natalie Rithman. I'm sorry, Rithman. 16-11 as Chapman's going to step back to serve. Fessemeyer buckled there, but she's able to get a good, good pass on it. Good handle by Chapman on the swing from Albers. 
Another back to that right side. This time it's I think out of bounds. A good swing by Adeline Mesher, the six foot junior. Again, a lot of players getting playing time for Marion Local. We've seen a lot of different players in a lot of different spots. Chapman serves again. Kessemeyer gets handcuffed again. She's going to be the one sending it over. Pass by Rethman to the outside, and it's going to be swung and hit by a measure, but out of bounds. Another point to Lehman Catholic. Just a three point game now, 16 13. Can Lehman Catholic keep the momentum going and keep chipping away at this lead? Fessemeyer, a good pass. This time they're going to the outside. Swing by Albers. Dug by Chapman. It's going to be sent over by number four, Laura Marger. Middle set this time. Nobody there to block. A battle up the net. This time it's going to be a block by Kylie Albers. A much needed point there by Marion Local. Get the ball on their side. They want to control the serve game, something that Schulze, Coach Schulze wants to focus on. And Chapman was able to rally off three points for Wayman. Another serve out of bounds. Very, very close, but again, Judge right on it. Out of bounds at 17-14, going to 25. The rally scoring has been around now for several years. Nice action there is number I think number 12 was there. Tie at the net, knocked down by Chloe Berkey, playing that middle block position. A passing there, sends the ball too close to that, and Berkey's able to hit it back down. This time we're going to get a timeout on the side of Sydney Lehman. We'll be back right after these messages. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Cassie Fessemeyer stepping back to serve for Marion Local, who had a five-point lead, 19-14 in first set action here between Marion Local and the Lehman Catholic Cavaliers. This is another middle set, a good swing put on the ball that time by Birdke, complaining very well at the middle, middle position. This time we're gonna go to the outside, swing by number two, Jesse Kramer is blocked down by Lehman Catholic, another point. Each team has been making just little runs here. Lehman Catholic able to chip it within two or three. And then Marion Local goes on a run of a couple points to get it back up to four or five. And Lehman just not quite able to get all the way back in this yet. Arlene DeFestenmeyer, it's sent over by Kramer. Quick set here. We're going to get a handling error again. Another error leads to another point, 20 to 15. And number nine, Maddie Griesdorn checks in for Marion Local and she's gonna step back to serve. Step back to Chapman, even in the back row. She gets a decent swing on the ball, not able to be, ball's not able to be handled this time by Alexi Arling. Another kill for Chapman. Layman Catholic definitely liked to go to Chapman. She has 54 kills on the season. Ellie Scott had 10 kills coming into the match tonight, uh, only two in double digits. So they look to get them the ball as often as they can. Uh, they're, they're two better hitters. Here's a swing by Kramer that finds the ground. Kramer, the second leading kill uh, getter for Marion Local, coming in after just two games with 11 kills. Uh, and Marion Local is led by Kylie Albers with 17 kills coming in. Good hustle by Lehman Catholic, 
Set to that back side. To Evers again, it's off the hands. Another point, Marion Local, the lead's building to six now, 22-16. Number two, Jesse Kramer steps back to serve. And tight at the net there, out of bounds as the setter was not able to handle the tight pass and tried to get a set to the, uh, to the outside hitter, but it went over and out of bounds. 23-16. Kramer to serve again. Out to Chapman. They're going to keep feeding her. You can see local, very local trying to get two on the block. Here's a set to inside to Chloe Berkey. Back outside to Chapman. Blocker's able to get their hands on it. This time, Griesdorn tipped it over Fessenmeyer, who probably would have been in possession to get the ball. But they keep feeding their, their captain, does Lehman, and it's another kill for Chapman. 23-17 here in the first set. Chapman with the swing in. Local doing a good job. Mary Local doing a good job of getting the hands on the ball. Keeping the play alive. We're going to set to the middle. A quick set this time. And it's not hit as hard as maybe she wanted it to, but she finds the floor as Abby shut. Feeding that outside hitter. And when they get the opportunity, the quick set into the middle works out again as shut gets another kill. It's 23 18. Mary and Local trying to find two more points to see if they can come away with this first set. A deep serve again, out of bounds. <laughs> Serving for this first set. Number 10, Chloe Berkey. Snipes with the swing. Dug by Griesdorn. It's going to be a set over from the back row. A miscommunication. Flyer is able to get it over. Lehman back out to Chapman. She swings and hits it out of bounds. No tip, no touch. And that's going to be 25 points for Marion Local as the score is 25-19 at the end of the first set. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be back with set two action from Lehman Catholic High School. You owe it to yourself twice a year at checkup at Minster Dental Care. Our specialized doctors, Jim Overman, Jim Myring, Sean Sharp, and Philip Slonkowski are ready to give you the smile you've always dreamed of at any stage of your life. Pediatric, orthodontic, restorative, and cosmetic dentistry are just a few of the services offered. Our latest advancements include Seric Dentistry that allows us to create and deliver a crown in one convenient visit. We're located on State Route 66 in Minster, 419-628-3380 to schedule your appointment today. You owe it to yourself. As a father of two teenage daughters and husband to a lovely wife, thanks, hon, it is important for me to look out for myself and my family. Fiber is one of the most important things in my day. Fiber keeps me healthy, sane, and stress-free. NK Telco Fiber, fast and reliable, keeping our household sane by keeping their devices connected. NK Telco, providing services that bring value to your everyday life. First set in favor to the, of the Marion Local Flyers as they win the first one, 25-19. As we have a moment here before we start set two, we want to take a moment to thank our sponsors tonight to help bring you this broadcast. At New Knoxville Supply, Keyhole Pizza, Minster Bank, Minster Dental, NK Telco, German Farmers Insurance, Wagner's IGA, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Fowler's TV, Wilson Health, the Orthopedic Association of Southwest Ohio, 21st Century Kitchens, Elmwood Assisted Living, and Schwederman's Pharmacy. Again, Marion Local winning that first set. And neither team played phenomenally well. Uh, Marion Local pulling off the win by six points, but uh, that deficit definitely kind of padded for them as, as Lehman Catholic had a lot of unforced errors. Um, both teams served it into the net a few times, but Lehman Catholic had a few out of bounds into the net and a few mishandles of the ball. And I think that was the difference in that first set. They were able to feed Chapman a decent amount. She got some good swings on the ball, giving them uh, you know, a chance to score, score some points. Uh, if Lehman Catholic can get things cleaned up a little bit, I think they have an opportunity to, to make it a little more competitive tonight. So we're going to see here, though, we're going to start off with a miss hit by Snipes into the net. Marion Local's going to jump out to another lead as it's been them the entire way so far as they're up 1-0 right now. Chapman sends it over. 
Played over by Lexi Arley, not able to get the proper pass to lead to that. Here's a good block by Evers. Tapped over, tipped around by Chapman this time. Evers and Bertke both there, but off the fingertips and it falls to the floor. Sometimes, sometimes it's the swings that don't have, the ball doesn't have the pace on it, or you're not able to react appropriately, and it, that one was a little slower and just rolled off the fingertips. Played back by Fessemeyer. It's going to be a free ball. Played back by Arling. Middle quick set. So number 15, Mallory Hussey there with the kill. Very excited. They're trying to rally the troops as we're going to see the Cavaliers take their first lead tonight, 2-1, early on here in set number two. Back set swing by number 10, Chloe Birdke. Defended well, there's a short ball over. This time they roll Evers back in that corner and they call it out of bounds, very, very close to the line. And on the side of the Marion local fans as they give their disgrace and disgust to the call, but point stays with the Cavaliers, it's three to one. Fessemeyer with a good pass. This time out to number two, Jesse Kramer, the 5'7 senior outside hitter with a nice swing and kill of the ball. Bringing the serve back over to Marion Local. And she earns the kill and also earns the serve as she goes back. Miscommunication, Libero tried to call off Her teammate there, but ball falls to the floor as they ran into each other. And it's 3-3. Outside to Chapman. Hard to see what happened there. I think it hit neither, maybe hit the antenna. Officials in the way, but I think it hit the antenna. It's gonna be a point for Marion Local as they take the lead back 4-3. Kramer to serve again. And just out of bounds. Tried to sneak it down the line, pick up an easy point. Checking in here is Ellie Scott for Lehman Catholic. As a sophomore, Alexis Snipes steps back to serve. Good block. As Evers had a good swing on the ball, a little close to the net. The block was in place, and Evers not able to keep her balance as she stumbles into the net. Be an error on Marion Local. Point for Sydney Lehman. Grease Dorn with a good pass or good set. Ball sent deep. Grease Dorn with another set. We're going to go outside this time. Nice dig in the back row, but not able to be handled by Snipes. Good offense on the part of the Marion Local Flyers. Again, the fundamentals, the pass to the set, to the spike, if it's all in balance. Better opportunity. And I think Griesdorn was leaning the wrong way. I'm sorry, Berkey was leaning the wrong way. I think she thought the player was going to go across court, and she sent it back over the top into the wide open corner. Layman Catholic back in the lead, 6-5. There's a good swing by Kylie Albers. A 5'7 junior outside hitter. The block was in place. She was able to put enough pace on the ball to squeak it through the arms of the blockers and find the floor. And 6'6 six, six is the score here. We can see each team kind of going back and forth here. Layman Catholic did a little bit better job of cleaning up some of the mistakes and it's allowed them to stay in this second set a little longer than they had in the first set. Ball off the net, you get the opportunity to big swing. That's dug in the back row though. Ball's played around, that's gonna be a kill by Adeline Mesher. The six foot junior. And lots of juniors and seniors seeing the floor tonight for Marion Local with a couple sophomores playing. And sometimes having that height helps as 
Meshers being six foot, Evers being six one, and several other girls that, um, being five six, five seven or taller. So height has a factor. We got another point on the side of Marion Local, eight six, as Rethman steps back to serve. The pass to, to Scott, but before that, another mishandle by the setter there. We're going to have another timeout. We're going to take a break with them. We'll be back with more high school volleyball action after these messages. When I took over this farm from my dad, I knew our future success required making major changes in our operations. That meant adding acreage, more and bigger equipment, investing in powerful technology, hiring employees. We even started a seed business. Fortunately, working together with Grinnell Mutual and my local farm mutual, my agent was able to cover everything. I call that progress. It's set two here at Lehman Catholic High School, and right now the Marion Local Flyers win another first set, hold a 9-6 lead over the home team. Marion the Cavaliers have been able to clean things up the beginning of the first part of this set. As we've seen the last couple points, though, a few unforced errors that led to a couple easy points for Marion Local, and they've been able to extend that lead up to 4-10-6. Rethman serving again. A tight set is number four. Lauren Larger tried to get to the ball and get it over the net, but it was too close. Sends it into the net. That's three straight service points here for Rethman, looking for her fourth as this lead is quickly going up. I believe it was 6-5 in favor of the Cavaliers, and it's been five straight points. And there's the break they need. Ball's going to come back over to Lehman Catholic. Also honored tonight, we'll be able to select a player of the game from each team. The player from Marion Local, sponsored by Corner Cafe and Maria Stein. And the player of the game for Lehman will be the spot located here in Sydney. Quick little shift of momentum here as the Cavaliers pull off two points, cut the lead down to three. Miss this handle pass by Fessenmeyer sends her teammate into the end of the ladder and of the stand of the judge, and she's not able to handle the ball. Another point, Lehman Catholic. Fessemeyer handles this with a much better middle set this time. As Morgan Heckman had a good, good opportunity, looking to see if there was any touch on the ball by Lehman Catholic, but another point, a four-point run. Looking to tie the game up here is Lehman Catholic. Another good serve. Not able to be handled by number two, Jesse Kramer. And just when you think Marion Local is going to start pulling away, they start having some problems, problems of their own. And they're going to need to take a timeout to try to regather as Coach Solzzi has some things she wants to try to address with her team. NK Tokyo and its sponsors are pleased to bring you the replays of high school volleyball. And today's game you can, you can catch on Channel 3 or on HD on Channel 503. If you're catching this on the Wednesday broadcast, it's also going to be re-aired on Thursday, September 1st. And a new feature that came along last year, you can also watch the games on demand at nktelco.net. So one of the things you can do there, catch games anytime. If you're not able to catch the replay back, you can find it online, stream it, watch it there. We're back to action here. It's Lehman Catholic, 5-0 runs, tied this up 11-11. Always like to see how teams react coming out of timeouts if they're able to regroup and focus. There's a big swing, it's played up in the air. Chapman was able to send the ball deep, it's gonna have to be free by Marion Loco, another opportunity here. Just played over quick this time. Right into the middle of the floor as none of the Lehman Catholic players were able to hustle to get there. The lead's going to go back to Marion Local, 12-11. Number four, Lexi Arling going back to serve. Good swing by Ellie Scott this time. 
Chapman from the back. Kramer. And a lucky roll this time as Lauren Larger didn't quite get hardly any of the ball. Definitely not how she wanted to hit it, but just enough to have it catch the tape and, and roll over as the players setting the block couldn't react to the slow moving pace of the ball and it falls in, it's 12-12. There's another tip, nice hustle there as Large was able to keep that one alive from the back row, Chapman gets a swing. Ruffin with a set to the middle. And number 12, Morgan Heckman with, this, with another kill. The outside hitters have not had a whole lot of clear hits tonight for Marion Local, they've had uh, some success going to their middle. Heckman's able to get another kill. Here's a good serve by Fessenmeyer. As she gets the ace, it's 14-12. And Fessenmeyer to the exact same spot with the exact same result. We'll see if Lehman's able to react. So we can see Coach Snipes moving players around, trying to give his Front players all the way up and his, his receivers a chance to handle this. Chapman handles it this time. Outside to Larger. Ooh, a quick tip this time by the center. Quick set to the middle. It's number 11, Abby Shutt is able to squeak it off the hands of the blocker. Set was kind of low, so Shutt did a good job of handling that, being able to get it on the right trajectory to get over the net into the blocker's hands, and sometimes you just got to give it a chance, and this time it worked out for her. Good pass and set by Rathman. Allows number two, Jesse Kramer. Again, fundamental play leads to a great result on the side of Marion Local, who have built a three-point lead. 16-13, Maddie Griesdorn next up to serve. Another set to the middle with the exact same result as it's shut again, going to that back corner. I would say maybe a breath of fresh air for Marion Local as Shutt's now stepping back to serve, but in the, as the rotation has happened now, Lehman's got Sidney Chapman back up front. Outside to Kramer. And Shutt with another nice handle of the ball. Here goes Chapman. Not a good set. She just had to play it over. Backside to Evers this time, and she finds the back right in the middle. Somehow it gets through all those hands and finds the floor. It's 17-14. Marion Local. Kramer with the serve. Middle set, nice block, but way to be in possession is Kramer. Evers with another swing, had the previous kill. McFarlane able to dig it. Good swing by Chama, but it's handled by Marion Local very well. We're gonna have a quick set. It's battle at the net, and tipped around. It's number 15, Mallory Hussey jumped a little too early. Was able to flip it over, but Marion Local taps it right back into the spot she was in. Another point. It's 18-14. Good serve. It's mishandled in that back row. Getting the pressure put on. The service game coming into play here. We're going to have another timeout taken on the side of Sydney Lehman this time. We'll be back after the message from our sponsors. Wegner's IGA have been servicing their communities for more than 90 years, spanning three generations. Wegner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and a variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wegner's today in Minster, Fort Larmy, and New Bremen. 
Marion Local building their lead back up to five as it's 19-14 with Jesse Kramer back to serve. It's been a, a set of runs, so we're gonna have another mishandle by number 20, Lauren McGregor, just the freshman, given the responsibility of being one of the primary setters for Lane and Catholic, and the last two points have resulted in her mishandling the ball. And tipped over, Evers in position. Fessemeyer up to set. Handled by Chapman. She's able to get the ball back. Number six, Kylie Albers getting the swings over on the outside hitter for Marion Local. They come back to the right side to Evers, and the block is ready for it. That's the second or third time that block's been successful in blocking Evers. Evers at 6-1 has the height advantage against all the players on the other side of the court, but the two blockers have been able to position themselves well and time the jump perfectly. Send the point back to Layman, but Snipes unfortunately serves it into the net to give the point right back. Keeps the lead at 5, 21-16. Berkey serving. A tight pass. Doesn't give Snipes an opportunity to handle it. it looks like Albers was there. Help that one find, find its home as well. 22-15. The game is getting away from Sydney Lehman as they played a lot better in the first set. Here's a good swing by Chapman. Another kill for her. She's gonna step back to serve. Needs to find a rhythm here being down six. Needs to chip away, at least get three, four, five points here to try to get them back in to this set. Handled by Kramer. Outside perfect set and great execution by Kylie Albers. Able to set her feet really good, a good jump and good swing on the ball. And probably one of the harder hit balls we've seen tonight. Twenty-three, sixteen. Natalie Rethman serving the ball and sends it out of bounds. Unforced serving error leads to a twenty-three, seventeen lead for Marion Local here in set two. If it works once, you do it again. As they set Albers again, two straight kills for her in a row. And as her rotation's over in the front, she's going to check out. Coming in for her is number four, Alexi Arling, defensive specialist. Good serve. Looking here for set point as they block the middle. Number 12, Morgan Heckman's there to get that final block, final point in set two. And set two is going to also go to Marion Local, 25-17. Marion Local Flyers now have a two set to zero advantage. And as the players switch sides, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with third set action here from Sydney Lehman High School. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono system takes the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Fowler's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Fowler's TV, taking game day to the next level. It's set three action here as right now the Marion Local Flyers are up 2-0 in the best or the race to three sets here. And so far it's been domination tonight all around by Marion Local as their JV squad was a two sets to zero winners in the JV contest. So let's see if Layman can rally together here to try to see if they can pull off a set, get back in this match. 
and try to extend this into the fourth set tonight. So far it's been very, on the most part, very consistent play by Marion Local. And just like the, the coach, uh, Coach Schultz, he had to discuss in the keys to the game, she wanted to see a lot of balanced offense. We've seen good performances by Albers, Kramer, going to, to Evers, and good middle, middle play by Heckman and Berkey as well. So definitely sticking to their game plan. And it's going to go this time to Chloe Berkey, right on cue as we mentioned her name. But definitely not one player that Marion Local's relying on. Uh, there in that second set on the other side, Layman Catholic's, Catholic's been going a lot. Uh, to their senior captain, Sidney Chapman, uh, their leading uh, kill getter so far. But that second set, we saw some good play by freshman Abby Shutt and also by junior Ellie Scott at the net. So can these players kind of come together, see if they can find a way to get back into this match? As we see the teams exchange points on the first two points of this set, and it's 1-1. Abby Shutt back to serve. Good communication on the part of the Marion Local Flyers as that ball goes out of bounds. Checking in here is Chloe Berkey. Very instrumental there in that come, I don't want to say come back, but kind of building back their, their lead and, and pulling away there in that second set. Here's a good dig by Jesse Kramer. Evers with another swing. It's blocked. Not able to handle it after the block, though. It's going to be a kill for Evers. Getting a 6-1 junior. With her hitting on the right side right now, and looks like Albers on the other hitting position. Gonna go back to Evers again, it's blocked. As the duo of Mallory Hussey and Sydney Chapman team up to get the block there. Lehman has had some success getting the, the hands in the way of the swing when it comes from Evers. And unfortunately, there's kind of the name of the game again as another unforced air served out of bounds. Which again, just pulls that momentum away. You want to force the other team to have to do as much as they need to do in order to get that ball and earn their point. And serving the ball out of bounds just takes the pressure off and extends, extends that lead. It's also beat you down a little bit too as you struggle to find ways to score points and here's a good hustle by Chemin sent deep this time quickly but Festimano is ready for it Festimano out to Albers he's been swinging the ball hitting the ball really well here the last three swings have resulted in kills You can really see as she's approaching the ball, she kind of has a little longer approach. Takes long strides to get set. Able to build a lot of power. Even with the block there, she's able to swing and send the ball through the hands of the block. I think off the antenna, it falls on the side of Marion Local, but it's going to be a point for Marion Local. Natalie Rethman, the 5'7 sophomore serving. Saw in that second set, she served several points in a row. And the announcer's jink comes into play as she, her service turn is quickly over. Good swing by I think Abby Shutt in the front. Chapman with the serve. Back to Evers. Ups back to Albers. Fessemeyer keeps feeding her the ball. The Chapman was ready for that cross-court shot. Ball's tight at the net. Number 14, Adeline Nesher, able to hit it down to the floor. That's a poor pass, a poor set. Right into the hands of Marion Local. Arling to serve. Quick set to the middle. Flyers are ready for it. I think two players got the hands on it. This time they're going to feed the middle, and that's going to be a kill by Morgan Heckman. Nice to be rewarded for her defensive effort as she was one of the two players in on that block. And as the Marion Locals had another opportunity to get the ball back, able to get a nice set, and Heckman 
finds the floor, and here's gonna take some pace off the ball, and Arlene drops an ace in. And before you know it, we've extended to a six point lead, nine to three. We're gonna stay here again and take the opportunity to thank our sponsors again tonight. Again, without them, we would not be able to bring you all the excellent high school athletics that we get to watch uh, in our area and broadcast to you. I wanna thank Sweeterman's Pharmacy, Elmwood Assisted Living, 21st Century Kitchens, Orthopedic Association of Southwest Ohio, Wilson Health, Fowler's TV, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Wagner's IGA, German Farmers Insurance, NK Telco, Minster Dental, Minster Bank, Keyhole Pizza, and New Knoxville Supply. And thanks to our sponsors, and First National Bank is our scoreboard, the Think First motto. And key, players of the game tonight will be given to Maria Stein player from the Corner Cafe and the spot will go to the Sydney player. Back here to action. We're still rallying here after the first point from the timeout as we have a good point going. It's tapped around, kept alive by Chapman. And a good swing this time by Lauren Larger. She struggled to find good pace on the ball tonight, but this time she was able to, to get set, get a good hit through the hands of the block and in the score streak of Marion Local. It's nine to four. Kramer with the hit, handled by the back row. Larger with another chance. Do a quick tap and play over. Again, just the change of pace. Layman wasn't ready for it. They tried to react, but not able to find, not able to get the ball back over the net. Larger again, this time she's blocked. Just teaming up as number 10, Chloe Berkey, number 14, Adeline Mesher. 11 to four, seven point lead now for Marion Local. They've come out very determined in this third set, very playing very clean volleyball. Here's Chapman trying to come from the back row into the net. And again, I said, said it earlier, I'd like to see how teams respond coming out of a timeout and you were hoping for for Coach Snipes that it was going to be his team responding, but so far it's been Marion Local coming out and picking up a few quick points. There's Fessemeyer serving it into the net. It's 12-5. Marion Local with a two sets to zero lead if they're able to pull out set three here. Uh, they'll be victorious tonight. Nice set this time to the middle. See Marion Local mixing it up a lot. Berkey with the kill. Good job by Rethman. We've seen, seen one sent over on two by the sitter, a quick set to the middle. They're setting it to both sides, right and, and left on their outside hitters, and especially now with, with Evers back in here, they keep wanting to go that way, it seems. There's a tight set back to the middle. It's played over by Berkey. Right over off the top of the fingertips of the Lehman Catholic player, another point, Marion Local. Ooh, off the tape, and not what you try to do as a server, but I think if you're Maddie Griesdorn, you'll take it. Goes down as an ace in the book. A Ten point lead, I think the biggest lead we've seen tonight by Marion Local in any of the sets, 15 to five. Griesdorn sets to Ever, who plays it over. Sent deep again. Outside to Kramer, off the fingertips of the block, and over the rest of the Lehman Catholic players, another point. And Coach Snipes has to take a timeout. We're gonna take a break too. We'll be back with third set action from Sydney Lehman High School. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big healthcare strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits, and it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. 16-15, Marion Local has the lead in the third set, pulling away right now from Layman Catholic as Marion Local seem to find their stride here in this third set. 
Outside. Too larger, kept alive. It's going to be a free ball sent over by Kramer. Quick set to the middle. The block's ready. A mishandle, miscommunication on the side of Lehman. <clears throat> number 10, Chloe Berkey. Number 2, Jesse Kramer there. A great defensive play. Able to block the ball back down. And Lehman unable to scramble to keep the ball alive. 12-point lead, 17 fibers, a short serve. Good hustle by Chapman. Larger with the swing. Handled by Arley. Out to Kramer. Again, off the hands of the block. The block that's been somewhat effective tonight a few different times. Uh, we've, we've seen Lehman be able to get a block. That's resulted in a point on their end. But right now, all cylinders are clicking for Marion Local, and the kill goes to Jesse Kramer. Fessenmeyer, nice dig, set by Griesdorn. Back to Evers. And again, the block is there, but off the fingertips. Marion Local can do no wrong right now as they just keep rattling point after point as Griesdorn has been back in this service position for several points in a row now. Good job of mixing it up, sending it short to the left side this time. Leads to another free ball. Nice roll rotation there. This time they're going to go back. Set Berkey to the outside. They reshuffled, set her back to the middle. She gets the kill this time. 20 to 5. Grease Dorn to serve again. Finally a kill for Layman Catholic as number 11 Abby Schutz able to send it off the, the hands of the blockers. Not before the damage is done, though, as Griesdorn st stood back there and served several points. And I think there was maybe an ace or two in there, but a lot of it was due to the offense of Marion Local. It's 20 to 6. Evers has to send it deep. Arling, Griesdorn, Evers, and she's going to get the kill. Get much more fundamental on the approach from Marion Local. A lot more control of the ball. Lehman Catholic's in a lot more of a scrambling, a uh, lot more scrambling situations, just trying to keep it alive. But you want to see that in your team. They're not giving up, they're, they're trying to fight through it. Quick set, it's blocked. Number 20, Laura McFarlane was there to try to pick that back up, but she sends it out of bounds. 22 to six. So number two, Jesse Kramer steps back to serve. Nice serve as the back row is not able to handle it for Flaming Catholic. 23 to 6. It's two points away here. It looks like Marion Local is going to be able to pull off a third set victory here unless Flaming Catholic can pull off a miracle. There's going to be another free ball if Chapman can play it back. She's able to. There's another set. Not handled as well this time. Chapman gets the opportunity though, to finally get a swing here. I think it's the first time in this third set. She's been kind of stuck in the back row a lot through a majority of these big runs by Marion Local. Uh, finally gets a chance to hit the ball and takes advantage, gets the kill. 23-7, leads to another serve out of bounds. 24-7 now, match point. For number 10, Chloe Berkey. And it looks like it's going to be sent deep. That's going to be an ace. And that's how this match is going to end. The third set in favor of Marion Local, 25 to 7. We'll be back with our post-game wrap-up, players of the game, right after these messages. Thank you. I happened to pivot wrong and hurt my knee. I ended up tearing my ACL. It hit me pretty hard because I, I love playing lacrosse. I met my surgeon and he made me feel confident about being able to get back into playing lacrosse. They always just took such good care of me and they really were confident in what they were doing, which made me feel confident that I would be able to get back to playing lacrosse. At 21st Century Kitchens, we know that every home has a style to go with it. From first-time home buyers to families with the pitter-patter of little feet, to teenagers taking over the kitchen, 21st Century has what you want customizing the style, layout, and price point to fit your budget. 
Kitchens by Craftmade and Quality Cabinets, Countertops by Wilson Art and Cabria, along with availability of granite, marble, and wood. See what's in store behind the yellow door for your 21st century kitchen. Dad, I think that this is the right choice. Mm -hmm. Huh. It's not safe anymore, you all alone in the house. Let the fun begin. Elmwood, a lifestyle for everyone. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaise County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. We're back as the Marion local Flyers proved to be victorious tonight. First, the Layman Catholic Cavaliers, three sets to zero. That uh, was a very dominating performance, especially in that third set as Marion local was able to win 25-7. Took control pretty much from the beginning, is able to run away with it. As the first two sets kind of played out equally, Marion local having the lead majority of the time. Layman Catholic playing catch up, able to get kind of back into the game, but never, never able to stay in it. Marion Local always pulling away late as they were able to win the first set 25-19 and the second set 25-17. Uh, Coach Schultz from Marion Local got to be proud. We've, the keys of the game were a balanced offense and the control of the serve game. Two things I think they did very well tonight, especially there were, there, especially there were a couple times that they had some, um, some servers back there for a while able to, able to control and, and mixing it up a lot and especially the balanced offense. Um, all the kinds of different players seeing the floor, lots of different players getting a chance, um, heading from different locations and, and a lot of different uh, players showing success. And I think that's going to play into the Marion local uh, Flyers advantage later is they're going to be able to rely on a lot of players and not just one key player moving forward. On the other side of the ball, Layman Catholic, again, this is their third loss in a row now after getting their first, uh, getting a victory in their first game against Butler. Uh, Coach Greg Snipes so has got to be proud of the girls. They, they continue to battle. They can continue to compete. Uh, as their, their teams, you know, they have freshmen all the way up to, to seniors playing uh, in a much smaller rotation. But definitely had a lot of fight and, and relied a lot tonight on their senior captain, Sidney Chapman. And that leads us into the player of the game tonight again for Marion Local, brought to you by Corner Cafe. Very tough choice again as they like to spread that ball around. But uh, kind of stepping up her play there in the second and third sets was Kylie Albers. Uh, several good swings on the ball that led to some kills and, and kind of sent the mo momentum in favor uh, to Marion Local as they pulled away and earned the win tonight. And on the other side of the ball, we're going to go with Sydney Chapman, again, the senior captain. Uh, they were the player. They, they tried to feed her the ball as much as they can, and, and she did a pretty good job tonight. Marion Local was ready for her, though. But overall, good performance by Sydney Chapman. So congratulations to those two ladies, and thank you to the Corner Cafe and the Spot for being the sponsors for those tonight. These two teams are back in action Thursday night as they start both start league play. As Marion Local is given the opportunity to go to St. Henry and face the reigning MAC champions on Thursday night, uh, and for Layman Catholic, they're going to be hosting Ridgemont. Uh, this Thursday as well. So both teams are now set in starting league play. You know, as a, as a coach, it's always something you want to start off and strive for at the beginning of the season is to have as successful of a, of a, a league play as you can. Marion Local finishing 6-3 and three last year in the MAC, MAC and hoping to improve in that. And Coach Snipes hoping to keep his Cavaliers. Last year they were 7-0 and in their conference, hoping to be able to keep that um, dominance going and hopefully come, out, come away with another league title for Layman Catholic. That's all we have tonight from Layman Catholic High School. Again, the Marion Local Flyers win three sets to zero. Want to thank the crew tonight. We had Daniel Allen and Kyle Pringer uh, working on cameras and running the production. Also, Isaac Sell will be doing the editing as we will be playing these games back later to you. My name is Ben Ayers, and we thank you for watching NK Telco Sports. <laughs>